What's happening guys, it's David from Vapor and Juice TV and I'm here to do a little science experiment. So, do you often wonder why your tank's leaking on your vape kit? Well, you've got different tanks, some of them leak, some of them don't. Well, there's a number of reasons, but one of the most common reasons why for a lot of people who aren't sure with the right liquid to get for their tank is it comes down to, is there too much of this? PG, propylene glycol. So, e-liquids are made out of a number of things, but two of the major constituents are PG, which is, see there, quite runny, and this much heavier tub uh, is a VG, vegetable glycerine. Um, this generally makes the cloud. This is what flavors generally come in and it carries the flavor because it's a bit more viscous or runny, if that's the right term. So we'll do a little science experiment. So if you've got a big coil tank, if you've got a tank that makes big clouds, they might have a big whopping coil like this. We'll do a little close up later on on the camera as well with massive little windows. You can see a little window in there with a square of cotton. That's where the liquid gets absorbed into and gets vaporized. On some of the sort of lower entry kits or some of the more mouth to line the day to day vaping kits, they've got these tiny little holes. You won't be able to see it from this angle, but we'll come close up. This is a BVC coil for an Aspire. Tiny little hole, um, which means you're really going to want to use liquids with higher amounts of PG because they're runny and they can get a tiny hole. But one of the big problems is if you've got a coil in your tank that's like that with a whopping big window and your liquid is more on this side of the, uh, the equation, it's going to piss out, it's going to leak. And I'm going to show you why in this little experiment. So what we've got in front of us is two glass, maybe Pyrex, I think Pyrex? Um, yeah, they're Pyrex, so it's all the good stuff. I think Pyrex is like the hoover of vacuum cleaners. Um, it's a brand name. Uh, we've got two Pyrex jugs. We've got some cotton wool. You wouldn't be using this in your vape kit, so before anyone, before anyone says on the camera, oh, I can't believe you're using 100% pure cotton wool. It's just for an experiment. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up each beaker with liquid and with cotton, and I'm gonna show you why liquids that are higher in PG tend to leak out more, and possibly why your e-cigarette tank or your vape kit is leaking. And this is the best way, visual experiments. And we haven't planned this either, so this could go terribly wrong. So I'm just gonna bang a few uh, nobbles of cotton in there. Maybe uh, that should be sufficient. Let's put an equal number in the other Pyrex. Other brands are available. Just gonna move this out. I think some people find it disgusting to chew on cotton. Disgusting! Oh, it's horrible. Um, anyway, let's just uh, bin this cotton off for the meantime. It's quite a lot of cotton we've got here. Breaching the uh, fourth wall, talking behind the camera. Right, so what I'm gonna do, this jar here, this beaker and this beaker, I'm gonna fill them up to about the top of the cotton mark with the appropriate liquid. Let's take this lid off. Good, came off first time. Let me away. All right, let's do the VG first. Now VG's thicker, takes a bit longer for it to absorb. Oh, already leaking. You can see there, it, the cotton's absorbing it. Gradually gonna see, gonna level go down. And this is gonna go terribly wrong. You can see now the juice is sinking down. And about the same amount, we can do it at the top of the line. Sucks over there. Let's chuck another cotton wool ball in there. This absorbs fast. But this is what happens and why it's likely to leak. Let me just take these out of the way. So, right, I put my hand over the top. <laughs> And so imagine this is a VG tank and these finger gaps here are the holes in your, tiny little holes in your tank or your coil or your vape kit. And this is of course uh, the same with the PG. So we're gonna tip it upside down, one, two, three. And as you can see, the PG got my hand soaked and very well, negligible, nothing on my hand from the VG. This is because VG is thicker and it takes an awful lot more for it to come out. Done it again. Boom, so the VG can be, this is the propylene glycol, this is the runny liquid, straight down, all over my hand again. That is why your vape kit's possibly leaking. Thanks for joining my science experiment, and if you found this educational, please share it on to a friend or subscribe to us in the link below. Vape and Juice TV, see you soon.